a little snowman, a gingerbread house, or a Christmas stocking? Which of these cases would you like to dress your phone in this winter? Watch our new video to learn new amazing ideas for edible phone cases. Jessica made plans to meet her friend, but Rosie's running late, as usual. Finally, she shows up, and she gives Jessica a small present to apologize. It's a charming and cute case for her phone. Cut a mitten out of a sponge cake. Divide the cake into two pieces and you get two mittens. Roll out some colorful fondant and cut a mitten shape out of it, leaving plenty of extra along the edges. Wrap the fondant around the cake. Make a snowflake out of edible beads. Make a cuff out of shredded coconut. Make a second mitten the same way. Glue the mittens to a phone case using edible glue. Pour shredded coconut onto it so it looks like snow. Jessica stops being mad instantly. The case isn't just beautiful, it's also delicious. Mmm, these mittens are finger licking good. What's wrong with Redhead? She's running around the kitchen like a wind-up toy. Rosie just wanted to see what she was up to. But now, Redhead is kicking her out of the kitchen. What's going on? Roll nine ounces of gingerbread dough out very thin. Trace the lower part of a phone case. Cut out a camera hole. Cut a roof up above. Make a gingerbread house. Bake it on parchment paper for eight minutes at 350 degrees. To make icing, put seven ounces of powdered sugar into one egg white. Mix it and beat it with a mixer for three minutes. Decorate the gingerbread house with icing using a piping bag. Glue the gingerbread house onto a silicone phone case using melted chocolate glaze as glue. Rosie follows the sweet scent. No way, I can't deal with this. It smells too good. What's she hiding? A gingerbread house? It's not just gingerbread, but a sweet phone case. Now that it's ready, Redhead is okay with sharing her sweet case with her friend. Jessica brought some hot cocoa for her friend, but Rosie already has something yummy to drink. Oh, I came too late. No, you didn't. This isn't even cocoa. It's actually a phone case with a sweet surprise. Take the label off a package of Nutella and go. Cover it with a pink soft foam sheet. Decorate it with a silvery pipe cleaner and cut letters out of a textured foam rubber sheet. Glue on a label for the cocoa. Cut the bendy part off a wide smoothie straw. Hot glue it to the side to look like a handle of a mug and cover it with brown acrylic paint. Open the package and add tiny marshmallows. Hot glue the mug onto a phone case. Rosie's phone case has sweet mix-ins for cocoa. Crunchy Nutella and Go Sticks with chocolate spread. A perfect snack when you're on the move. Redhead has a new royal blue sweater. This color looks great on her, since it brings out her bright red hair. Jessica likes her new look, but something is missing. Jess has the perfect accessory for her friend. Roll out colorful fondant. Put a phone wrapped in saran wrap on top. Fold the fondant around it and trim the excess. Use pink icing to make a knitted pattern on the back. A blue case with pink knitted decorations matches Redhead's sweater perfectly. But wait, there's more. It turns out that the case is edible. If you get hungry, feel free to munch on this sweet and colorful case. Jessica got a gift. It's a fun new case with white bears, which Rosie likes a little too much. Melt marshmallows in a microwave. Use a piping bag to squeeze out bears. Let them chill for an hour. Transfer the bears onto a silicone case. Add some details with food coloring. Now Jess can't even have a normal phone conversation. 
Rosie's sweet tooth is unstoppable. And now she's trying to pull the bears off the case. They're so delicious, she can't resist. And when Jessica's done with her conversation, there's just one bear left on her case. The girls are watching their favorite movie, Frozen. Anna and Kristoff, what a tense moment. Redhead got so caught up in the plot that she started eating snowflakes. Cover a tablet case with melted white glaze. Sprinkle it with shredded coconut. Attach sugar snowflakes of different sizes with edible glue. Add some edible beads. Where did this snowflake come from? No way! Did it come from the screen? It turns out that it was just from the phone case. The girls watch their winter fairy tale and eat yummy snow. Redhead is trying to find the perfect background for a selfie. She has such a beautiful case that it deserves its own solo portrait. Roll out some white fondant until it's very thin. Then lay a phone wrapped in saran wrap on top. Cut the fondant around it, leaving a little extra. Wrap the phone. Also, cut out a white snowman following a template. Cut a scarf out of red fondant. Make a fringe. Glue the scarf and a round red nose onto the snowman. Draw a hat with black food coloring. As well as eyes and buttons. Add a smile. Cut out an opening for the camera. And glue the snowman on with edible glue. All of a sudden, Jessica and Rosie run into their friend who's been trying to take a selfie. How lucky! Let's do our famous dance. And this is the perfect opportunity for Redhead to take a selfie with her adorable snowman. Rosie snaps a picture of her friend. Jessica also decides to take a picture with the unusual phone case. And now we can eat it. Jessica is busy doing the same thing she always does, chatting on the phone. She's walked by this stocking so many times, but all of a sudden, she has a brilliant idea. This stocking would make a fantastic wintry phone case. Cut open a stocking with a wintry pattern. Hot glue the opening. Make a fold. Attach a star made out of a sparkling soft foam sheet on top. Hot glue the stocking onto a phone case and fill it with candies. Redhead is being as sneaky as she can while she checks for any sweet treats in the stocking above the fireplace. But then she notices one last stocking full of candy. Jessica gives in and decides to share some candy with her friend. But after Redhead finds the stocking, Unfortunately, it goes from full to empty very fast. Redhead loves taking selfies. This time around, she's taking a mirror selfie, but her phone case is letting her down. It's so bland. Let's add some color and flavor. Glue caramels of different colors to a silicone case using melted caramels as adhesive. Now you can take super sweet selfies. The candy case doesn't just look good in pictures, it'll also perk up your mood. Eat a candy and feel amazing! Jessica decided to bake a cake. She found a recipe video on her tablet and is following along with the chef. Believe it or not, no matter how hard she tries, Jessica's creation just doesn't look like the version on her tablet. Where did I go wrong? Jessica is so desperate and angry that she grabs a hammer and swings it at the tablet. Pour some melted chocolate glaze into a silicone mold. Let it cool. Heat the base of each figurine on a warmed plate and glue them onto an iPad case. Cover a few M&Ms with a half sphere. Coat the chocolate decoration with diluted food coloring and add some edible pearl powder on top. Sprinkle one piece with edible glitter. Redhead is horrified and stops the crush test before it's too late. But it turns out that Jessica just wanted to break the chocolate dome to get some candies out. Since her cake didn't turn out well, she'll snack on her tasty case instead. 
Did you like our sweet phone case ideas? Then write in the comments about which yummy winter case you want to try. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel and click on the bell so you don't miss any sweet new ideas on Troom Troom.